Hi Scorpio, this is Jess with your July 15th, 2019 weekly reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Scorpio, money looks good. Money looks really good this week. Uh, I feel like you guys are making really good financial decisions or you're making money more of your focus. Money and career is more of your focus. You could be getting some type of advice regarding um, your finances when it comes to another I get a woman I get a female here who could be advising you uh, you may find it a bit of a daunting task to tackle your everyday um, responsibilities some of you just may not necessarily have the mojo um, to seek out that new job of employment or to uh, again like I said tackle your um to have the same drive if that makes any sense when it comes to matters of career and finance this just may be one of those low periods this this particular week but i feel like overall you're okay financially um it may you may be slow in responding to people as well and it may be a, a very specific um, endeavor uh, that you need to respond to so try to make sure that you're looking out for your emails your voice messages just try to recheck it even if you don't get a notification go and listen to your emails refresh your um, refresh your email pages look at go and look at your voicemail is what I wanted to say look at your voice messages listen to them because messages could be coming through and you're missing them right um, and these, I feel, is something important that you need to respond to a particular person. So don't delay a certain situation. Just try to stay on top of it as much as possible. Moving your car. Again, your car could be giving you the blues for some of you. Moving on from a situation could be definitely a challenge for you this particular week. Um, <clears throat> some of you may feel like you're not seeing progress the way that you would like to see progress. Again, that could be in the area of finances and career, but it could be in every area of your life or any area of your life. Uh, so check out your cars again, guys. If it needs to all change, go see about that. Uh, don't think that you can continue to ignore an all change or, uh, um, some type of an alert light on your car check check on your car and see about your car uh it will do you a world world of good i feel down the line when you least expect it that will come back to haunt you so definitely see about your car um you know now i feel that <clears throat> excuse me you will be getting excuse me i'm sorry guys you will be getting an offer offers are coming your way new beginnings are happening for you children will be a lot uh, more of your focus or feeling more like a childlike energy if that makes any sense as well uh you may get phone calls or messaging from people that you haven't spoke to in quite some time so making up for lost time uh old you know energies of the old kind of becomes more of the new now if that makes any sense or resurfaces if that makes sense and i feel like a lot of you are starting to nurture something that is a labor of love for you Love is seriously on your mind. For some of you, you can't seem to get off of it. And while we're on that, let's get on to love. Um, you kind of closed a major chapter in your life, it looks like. A major chapter. And I feel like some of you could be rekindling, getting back with, or um, meeting someone that you feel like you have a major um, connection with, right? Um, it could be someone new and you feel like you've known them forever. This could be someone from your past uh, and you guys are catching up, catching up for lost time. There's a new beginning and something that feels familiar to you. And I do feel like some of you may be moving pretty quickly in the areas of love for some of you, um, especially if, if this is someone that's new in your life. Um, and some of you have yet to wrap up a chapter in your life as well. Okay. Uh, you're working very diligently, but someone could someone could have you on their mind or you can have someone on your mind very intently. And there's major decisions that needs to be made as to moving forward and what's going to happen. OK, I do feel like there's going to be some type of conversation or communication that will come your way for some of you to wrap a cycle up and for others of you to to take this situation to the next level. If you've been someone that you didn't want to deal with it, you kind of want to face it, especially if 
if the decisions were placed upon you to decide if you move forward on on a relationship or if you kind of um, let it go. You've tried to not deal with this for quite some time. So you're just like, I don't want to deal with it. Or you're dealing with someone who may have been sending you a bit of mixed messages, okay? I do feel like you feel the love or you feel that this is a really great, strong connection that you have with someone. But there's some unresolved issues. And that's obviously that's going to be the theme this week of everyone kind of realizing uh, more and more each day and each week of how unresolved their issues are when it comes to matters of love and issues from and, and things of a past with people. But by the end of the week, there will be um, a talk or there will be some news that comes out or there will be addressing a situation. For some of you, if you've not spoken to your mate in quite some time, you may hear from them now. It could very well be getting to this place where we need to talk. We need to address open-ended situations and we need to find out what will be our next steps forward. Now, it may not for all of you just be this person reaching out to you, could have, but it could very well be you. But there's something major that's getting ready to kind of come up. Something needs to be addressed. Something needs to be broadcast, announced, if you will. And that kind of changes everything when it comes to matters of love for you. Absolutely. If you're single, it seems like you really have to get out there. Or even if you're not even doing much, like you're not doing the typical social scene. Uh, if you're just going about your day, you definitely may meet someone. It's very, it could be karmic for some of you. Um, and this may be a lesson that you have to learn once again, right? And some, some people may be like, no, not again. But you could approach it differently. You don't have to approach it the same way. That's the whole point. It's like, you know, it's like taking any test. You take a test and it's like, okay, we I just took that same test or t I've been taking the test with the same um subject for how long for months now but you still have to take it right so just look at it as just another test that you t intend to pass especially if it is something that you've already learned karmically so for some of you again you could be attracting someone who you probably go through another test with again you could approach it differently for others of you there's just open-ended circumstances with you and another that needs to be addressed once and for all and for some of you it may not even be the love that you're thinking of it could be someone who's seeking out closure from you or understanding from you and it may hit you like a ton of bricks like what wait a minute i thought we addressed this but for them it's still open-ended so again open-ended issues either that needs to be addressed and confronted either by you with the person that maybe you're thinking of or someone that you're not even thinking about so again the end of this week going into next week should be quite interesting uh, and so in the extended, if you're interested, we're going to look at this person and find out what could, what is going to be said. What would be the outcome between the communication that um, happens? What's coming out? What would be addressed? What are the challenges in you and this person's relationship? What's going to happen this particular week? But even more than that, what's going to happen two months down the line? Where will you guys be? And so if you're interested in that and more, click that link below and we can get started. Otherwise, um, I would love to hear from you guys. So if you would like to share, please do so. In the comment section below, if you are, uh, if you would like something personal with me, personal with me, I can be reaching beginning and into this video as well as the description box below. And if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Scorpio.